Yes, the VA duels are back. Jaden oh, versus Aster. I knew I'd find them. Hey, the rumors were true. I can't believe all of the new elemental hero cards were right here in Chicago, Illinois. Not how I expected Jaden to look, but, uh, oh. you know. Hey, Aster. What the heck are you doing here? Did you try some of those egg sandwiches from the commissary? Man, you and your egg sandwiches, do you ever give up with that? No. <laughs> it's still good to the see you The egg which is mine. Because I'm here to check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, North America Championship. Professional duelists like myself always need to stay a step ahead of the competition, and scoping out the field will help me do just that. Plus, I heard there's a new Destiny Hero card that's all the rage this weekend, and, well... I Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Oh, sweet. Did you find anyone playing it? Did I? I sure did. Hey, how come the duelists have to wear masks, but the voice actors don't? It's hard to see why. Wait till they see what I do with it. Oh, right, because of the Say, peasant class. Are you class. playing in the tournament? No, but I really wanted to. Oh, God. Imagine if we ever did get an anime character in this, these tournaments. I totally forgot to register. Hey. I have a great idea. If you're not playing into the tournament, I want to see Dan Green in a Yu-Gi-Oh! World yeah, Championship. Doesn't even need to be a VA duel. Like I just want to see him do it. You know? I should warn you. There are a couple of cards in my deck that you might not be familiar with. Pot of greed. You better bring your A game. Oh, don't you worry. I have a couple of new tricks of my own. Masked hey, heroes. Aster? Yeah. Get your game on. With pleasure. Nice fields. You know it's too bad you couldn't register for the North America Yu-Gi-Oh they championship. They both have the hero side though. I guess e Destiny heroes. must have had something else in store for you. I guess there's no Destiny Hero fields, though. That it's your defeat in this duel. I'm gonna start things off by summoning Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. Of course. Destiny Good Hero start. Diamond Dude's effect lets me excavate the top card from my deck. And if it's a normal Destiny draw, card, nice. I get to send it to the graveyard. Let's see what Destiny has in store for his effect. The card on top of my deck is Destiny Draw. Oh, that's a sweet card. It is. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be even sweeter later on. That's because Diamond Dude's effect lets me play it from my graveyard on my next turn. Ha! Unfortunately for you, it looks like destiny is on my side. Aye. Next, I'll set two cards face down and end my turn. Wow, that's not a bad first turn. It isn't. But just wait until you see what I have in store for you. All right, bring it on. Oh, I'm gonna bring it. First, I normal summon elemental hero, Avian. Avian's out. Really? 1,000 attack points? Dude, that's even weaker than my diamond dude. Well, that's exactly what I was counting on, Aster. Because I'm adding the Skyscraper Field Spell card. Yeah! Now, Skyscraper, in skyscraper increases the attack points of my attacking elemental hero monsters by 1,000 but only if they're weaker than the monsters they're battling. And as you pointed out, my Avion is weaker than your Diamond Dude, but not by much. So an extra 1,000 attack points will make my Avion way stronger than your monster and take out a nice little chunk of your life points. 600, pretty good. Elemental Hero Avion, attack Aster's Diamond Dude! Now the extra 1,000 attack points from Skyscraper not only assures the destruction of your monster, but also wipes out 600 of your life points. Ooh. You know, don't pat yourself on the back just yet. 
That is exactly what I want. Destiny signal. I activate my track card. Destiny signal. Of course. Oh no. Uh huh. And since you destroyed my monster in battle, I can activate this trap card to special summon Captain a Tenacious or lower Destiny Hero from my deck. I summon Destiny Hero Dark Angel. Ooh. Oh. Boy, that's one creepy monster. It is. But I still have the upper hand. Plus, your monster doesn't have any attack or defense points. Hmm. Just to be safe, I'll throw down a face down before it does negate my turn. spell effects while on the field, though. Of both players, right. I draw my dark angel may not have any. I wonder if they have points. the skyscraper but anime effect where it works on either player's does. turn. I'll tribute Destiny Hero Dark Angel to summon Destiny Hero Dasher. Oh. He's popular with DPE because of his graveyard effects. And next. To the effect of Destiny Hero Diamond Dude from last turn, I'm able to use the effect of the Destiny draw I sent to the graveyard. I draw two cards from my deck. Whoa, wait a second. You need to discard a Destiny Hero. No, I don't. Before you can draw two cards with Destiny drawn, don't you? Are you kidding? Dude, you must have fallen behind in your study. He didn't stage. study. Oh, but don't have really. you seen season four? He's barely oh, in class. Crawler. Discarding a Destiny Hero monster is a cost to activate the effect of Destiny Draw, but Diamond Dude only copies its effect. That means I get to skip the downside and go straight to drawing two cards. That's why uh, that Diamond Dude was popular. You know. I really should have paid attention during my cost and effects classes at Duel Academy. All right. Now, Why have you still fused with you, Bowdrins? Mm. Attack and destroy Jaden's elemental hero, Avia! After it attacks, my Dasher switches into defense mode with its effect. Now I see Dasher is just a grown up speed warrior. Change my mind. And end my turn. Oh, okay. It's my turn. I draw. All right. I activate Pot of Greed. Now this card lets me draw two cards from my deck. That's how that works. I had no idea. <laughs> Much as I hate the meme, I kind of can't help but smile whenever nice. the voice no, actors after. call it out. I should have warned you before our duel that I buffed my dueling as well. I have a couple of new tricks. And here, wonder we'll bring the out the Neo card. Swingman. I activate EN Engage Neo Space. Oh. EN Engage Neo Space? Wait, how can it be that I've never heard of that card? Well, you haven't heard of it because it hasn't yet been released to the general public. <laughs> this card, like many other hero cards now in my deck, won't be released until August in the power then why do you have it? booster set. But pretty cool, huh? I just couldn't wait until then. I heard rumors that top-ranking officials would be attending the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game North America Championship right here in Chicago, and I had advanced copies of these rare cards. So these I are Japanese copies? Duel, and when he saw my bond with the elemental heroes, it was so nice, he insisted I take them. No Bollocks. way! Bollocks! Ian engaged Neo Space. Then again, Castle of Dragon Souls really had a misprint when Kaiba used it against Pegasus. One from my hand and one from my deck to special summon a Neo Spatian monster or a level five or higher elemental hero monster from my deck. Then, Ian engaged Neo Space lets me add a polymerization from my deck or graveyard to my hand. So I'm going to send Elemental Hero Persinatrix from my hand to my graveyard and Neo Space and Dark Panther from my deck to my graveyard. Neo Space has a brand new hero and his name is, is Elemental, Elemental Hero, hero Neos. Neos. 
The Duel Links quote. Oh yeah, Aster. And since my elemental hero Neos is special summoned by the effect of Eon Engaged Neos Face, he gains a thousand attack points for a grand total of 3,500 attack points. Now, I'll complete the effect of Eowit, engage Neospace by adding polymerization for my deck to my hand. Pretty impressive, Jaden. Long effects, but, but for Neospatians, they need it. Polymerization to fuse your monsters together, which is why I set this card. Mind crush! Ah, crap. Oh, what? And I'll use it to make you discard your polymerization. Uh, it's not in my hand. Uh, you can't That's prove it. I don't bad. have to reveal my hand. It looks like you won't be fusion summoning this turn. <laughs> you not know how contact well, fusions work? As we all know, there's more than one way to summon a fusion monster after. Because I activate... Instant Contact! What? Is that another card from Power of the Elements? Well, I told you I had more than just one. Ugh. Now, by paying you know, I talked about a while ago the net, that the VAs of North America never just shout out the sets. They're doing it now. Deck. So I'm gonna call on one of my favorites. I said that I think in a you go do your thing. Elemental hero, Flame Wingman. Cool. Elemental hero Flame Wingman summoned so easily. Yeah, right. Normally, a monster summoned by instant contact can't attack or use its effect and is returned to the extra deck in the end phase. But since I control Elemental Hero Neos, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman isn't bound by any of those restrictions and is here to stay. And that's not all. Next, I'm going to equip my favorite hero with favorite hero spell card. Now, as long as there's a card in my field zone, this equipped spell increases elemental hero flame wingman's attack points by its defense points. So go to 3,300. A 3,300 attack points. Plus, you can't target the equipped monster with card effects, and at the start of the battle phase, favorite hero lets me activate a field spell card directly from my hand or deck. Why would you activate a new one, though? Not bad, Jade, not bad. Guess for Neo Space or Skyscraper 2 Hero City. Face. I activate Neo Space for my deck. Jaden is the only trailer. protagonist that has, like, three now, field Neo spells in his deck. If not, he's Hero probably Neo's the one with the most. To 4, if not one of. Hero Flame Wingman, attack after Destiny Hero Dasher! Wait a minute, Jaden. Not so fast. Oh, I activate my trap card. D counter. Uh oh. D counter. Uh huh. And, and since you attacked my destiny hero monster with your flame wingman, your flame wingman is destroyed. But while it's equipped with favorite hero, my flame wingman can't be targeted. It's not targeting. Unfortunately for you. My trap card destroys the attacking monster without targeting it. No! You know, I would have expected a Duel Academy star like you to easily figure that out. I'm not a star. I was a slife for slacker. But I guess you weren't paying attention in your PSCT 101 class either. Well, I'm more of a big picture duelist. I, I try not to worry about the minutia. Yeah. <laughs> And that's why you're getting... I'm surprised he knows what minutia means. Oh, I can't believe you took down my Elemental Hero playing Wingman so easily. If you take down my Elemental Hero Neos, I'm done for. And with two more face downs on your field, I can't risk another attack. Instead, I'll go into my second main phase and summon Neos Face Connector. Ooh, nice one. Oh, yeah. You know what they say, Jaden? No guts, no glory. And since you don't have the guts, I don't see this duel ending in glory for you. Uh, don't be too sure, Aster. I'll use the effect of Neospace Connector to special summon Neospatian Grand Mole for my deck. Then you're gonna go into Grand Neos. Next. 
I'll use my Neo Space Connector's second effect. Ooh. I tribute it to Special Summon Neo Spatian Dark Panther from my graveyard. Isn't there a Neo Spatian that takes I have those three? three monsters on my field, and they're exactly the three I need. It's time for a contact fusion. You planned all oh, this? No! Oh yes! I return Elemental Hero Neos, Neo Spatian Dark Panther, and Neo Spatian Grand Mole to my deck. A new hero is born from the dust of outer space. So crash down to Earth and onto my field, elemental hero, Nebula Neos. That's incredible! <laughs> my Nebula Neos has 3,000 attack points. Plus, 500 from Neo Space. 500 attack points from Neo Space. Triple Contact Since Fusions have 3k attack. My extra deck, I now get to draw cards equal to the number of cards on your field. That's three cards. One, two, three of them. Next, my, ne my Nebula Neos negates the effect of any face-up card on the field until the end of the turn. And I choose my Nebula Neos. Finally, I'll throw down a face down. It's your move. He is Nebula Neo, so it doesn't go back Not to the extra so deck. Fast, Jaden. During your end phase, I activate my D Tactics trap card. And since it's a continuous trap card, it stays on my field. D Tactics? What the heck does that do? <laughs> Boost I'll my D heroes. In due time, Jaden. Now, as well as banish, as well as destroying cards by summon a level I eight or higher draw. Destiny Hero monster. First, during my standby phase, the effect of my D tactics activates, increasing the attack points of my hero monsters by 400. That means Dasher's attack points are up to 2,500. Oh, big deal. It's still way too weak to take down my Nebula Neos. Yeah, uh, yeah, but if it's yeah, something a Destiny Hero tribute it for Dasher's effect, and then but they'll clash. My turn is just getting started. Next, I activate the effect of Destiny Hero Dark Angel. Ooh. By banishing it from the graveyard alongside my Destiny Hero Diamond Dude, we each get to search our decks for a normal spell card and place it on top. Ah. Oh. Thanks for doing me a solid. My Neos Fusion was all the way on the bottom of my deck, but because of your Dark Angel's effect, now it's on top. Mm. Thanks, Asher. I really appreciate it. You know, Jaden, I had a feeling you might go for your Neos Fusion, but to draw it on your next turn, you'll need to survive this one. <laughs> oh, I activate Destiny Draw. Wow! I discard Destiny Hero Dogma from my hand to draw two cards. Well, would you look at that? I drew the card I just placed on top. How about that? I activate Fusion Destiny. Oh, here we go. As we all know, Fusion Destiny lets me fusion summon a monster from my extra deck that lists a Destiny Hero monster as material and lets me use monsters from my hand or my deck to fusion as fusion materials to summon it. I send Destiny Hero Celestial and Destiny Hero Malicious from my deck to my graveyard. Here we go. Fusion summon the one, the only, Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer! the card I saw Duelist using this weekend yeah. in the North American Championship. That's right, Jaden. I didn't just see Duelist using this card. I also managed to get one of my own. No way. It's way. A perfect addition to my extra deck. And as long as all based on Elemental field, Hero Phoenix all Enforcer. All monsters lose 200 attack points for each hero in my graveyard. Ha! And that's just the beginning of what my Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer can do. 
Since Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer is a level 8 Destiny Hero monster, the effect of my D tactics activates when it's summoned and banishes any one of your cards. And I choose Nebula Neos. Oh no! Just like that, my Nebula Neos is gone! <laughs> and my turn isn't even close to being finished either. Next, I special summon Destiny Hero Malicious from my deck by banishing a copy of it from my graveyard. Why? Now, I activate another effect of Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. This effect destroys one card on my field and then lets me destroy oh, any see. other card on the field. I'll destroy my Destiny Hero Malicious to take out your face down card. My negate attack! Yes! That'd been a good one. It's over, Jade. Jade only has one face down I left. I Destiny Hero Dasher back into attack position and then attack you directly with Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix and Forza! This could be game. A uh, duel's not over till the last card is played. And I'm not nearly done playing cards. Go, Elemental Hero! Spirit of Neo! What the heck? Nice! Elemental Hero Spirit of Neo? Oh yeah! And as you probably already guessed, this is not just another one of the new additions to my deck. I can special summon it from my hand when your monster declares an attack. And plus, if it's special summoned, which it is, I can add a spell or trap card that mentions an elemental hero monster's name or a polymerization from my deck to my hand. Very interesting. But if you use its effect, you'll need to shuffle your deck and Neo's fusion may no longer be on top. Oh man, <laughs> you're right. I really have to think about this one. Huh? What's that? Oh, hey, Wings Karibo. How you doing, little buddy? What's that? Great idea. Thanks, pal. Hmm. Okay. Here goes nothing. I didn't think you'd let me put Neo Fusion on the top of my deck if you didn't already have something planned to use against it. So I'm going to use my Spirit of Neos' effect to add Overfusion to my hand. Overfusion. That's another new card. Look, you may have There's a lot of new cards, here. Aster. Get past but it. My Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer is still stronger. Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer, attack and destroy Jaden's Elemental Hero, Spirit of Neos. Send it to the graveyard where it belongs. Uh, didn't I mention, Aster? Spirit of Neos can't be destroyed by battle after I special summon it. <sighs> My Spirit of Neos isn't going anywhere. Duh. Oh, fine. Then I activate my Break the Destiny Trap card. Break the Destiny? I can activate this card by targeting a level 8 or higher Destiny Hero monster on my field. And I choose my Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Break the Destiny destroys my monster and then forces you to skip the first main phase of your next turn. Ah. Whoa. Got rid of your destroyer Phoenix Enforcer? Well, not quite. Yeah. Because Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer also has another effect, which I'll activate now. Oh. If it's destroyed by battle or by card effect, including the effect of my Break the Destiny Trap card, or its own effect. this effect lets me special summon a Destiny Hero monster from my graveyard during the standby phase of the very next turn. And that includes my Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. My monster may be gone for now, but it won't be for long. <laughs> I'm setting a card face down, and then I end my turn. Well, here goes something. I draw. You know, with your first main phase skipped, 
I wouldn't be surprised if that's all you can do, Jaden. But I, on the other hand, will make the most out of your. Jaden will have to go right to his run. battle phase. In your standby phase, I'll return Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer to my field. Then, since I special summoned a level 8 or higher Destiny Hero monster to my field, the effect of my D tactics activates once more. Since you gave up your chance at getting Neo's fusion, you must already have a fusion summoning spell. That's why this time I'm using its effect to banish a random card in your hand. Ah, uh, you banished my elemental hero? Honest Neos. <laughs> Not a good quite hit. what I was expecting, but that's still a nice hit. And that's not all I'll do in your standby phase. I'll also use the effect of D tactics to increase the attack points of Dasher and Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer by another 400. Dasher's to 2900 and Destroyer's to 3500. Or that. <laughs> Grab Destroyer to 2500. You know, so many plays. I almost forgot that this is your turn. Yeah, right. It sure is. Welcome to Modern Yu Gi Oh! Our turn. Doesn't mean you should count me out. I'll enter my battle phase. Yeah, go right ahead, Jaden. You have no attack position monsters on the field. Super Polly. You might as well just end your turn now. Oh, Aster. Don't underestimate my elemental hero deck. I activate my quick play spell card, Overfusion. Overfusion to quick play? Now, I reveal an elemental hero, Neo Spacing. Or level 10 monster from my hand, Decker Graveyard, and my Spirit of Neos can be treated as that monster for a fusion summon this turn. I reveal Elemental Hero Sparkman from my deck. Why Sparkman? That's fine by me. I can still use my Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer's quick effect to destroy one of your cards this turn. And as soon as you activate your fusion spell card, I will. Well, there is no fusion spell card, Aster. Thanks to this card, I never needed it. I activate my face down card, favorite contact. What? What? A fusion trap card? Oh yeah. This new trap card lets me special summon a monster from my extra deck that lists a hero as a fusion material. Uh oh, I know what it's going into. Most fusion uh, spells. This card lets me fuse monsters from among my hand, field, graveyard, and banished cards by simply returning them to the bottom of my deck. Huh. Shining That's Flare. That's a cool card, Jaden. But it's not going to make a difference. I'll chain the effect of my Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer to destroy my Destiny Hero Dasher and your elemental hero, Spirit of Neos. Spark, man. Now your Spirit of Neos is in the graveyard, which means it's no longer treated as elemental hero, Spark, man. Your elemental yeah, but I have an actual Spark, man in the grave gone, now. And there's nothing left for you to fusion summon. You wasted your favorite You're contact, wrong. Just like you wasted your overfusion. This duel is over. It is, no, but not for me. After, I fuse the elemental hero Neos in my hand with the elemental hero Flame Wingman in my graveyard by returning both of them to my deck. That's impossible. There's nothing that you can summon by fusing those two monsters. Wrong. Well, nothing you know about, Aster. It's time to reveal the last of my new cards the power of the elements. Meet please buy the set. Please, please, please hero, buy the set. Shining Neo Swingman. No way! Way! Elemental hero Shining Neo Swingman has 3,100 attack points and a bunch of awesome effects. Yeah, right. Now, since I just special summoned it, I can use its first effect to destroy a number of cards on your field up to the number of different attributes of monsters on the field. 
Now, since Shiny Neil's wingman is a light monster and your destroyer Phoenix Enforcer is a dark monster, I get to destroy two of your cars. So say bye-bye to your destroyer Phoenix Enforcer and your face-down cars. I activate my destroyer Phoenix Enforcer's special mm. ability. I'll that track card can put a banned just the hero should end the battle phase. And again, I'm attack. Sorry, Aster, but there will be a next standby phase. Neo space is still in effect. Still phase, I'm ending this duel right now. My shining Neo's wingman may only have 3,100 attack points to start, but it gains 300 attack points for each monster in my graveyard. Since there are one, two, three, four monsters in my graveyard. It gains 1,200 attack points. There wasn't Plus, a spark man in the grave. It gets another yeah. 500 points from Neo's face, bringing it up to a grand total of 4,800 attack points. This can't be! I'm but sorry, it is. You have nothing left to protect you. Oh. Elemental hero shining Neo's wingman attacks Aster directly. And then he activates Dynamite Guy's oh, effect. No! Please buy the new hero set. We need you to buy the hero set. We need the money. Give us your money. I guess destiny wasn't on my side this time around. Your new hero cards are pretty awesome, Jaden. You know, it was an honor to duel against you. Hey, thanks, Aster. Your destiny hero destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer. It's a mouthful. either. That was a great duel. And I... Would guess our fans enjoyed watching it too. What it was think? a cool duel. I liked it. Wasn't some big epic return to these VA duels that I like, but hey, it wasn't DM again. So I'll take it. Bring it on. But after now, we have to give our top 16 players in the Yu-Gi-Oh Trading Card Game North American Championship their chance to duel. So everybody watching. Get your game on! What's the most epic of these? What is not the best? But honestly, the fact that we have the VA duels back, back and they got the Jaden voice actor, and just the fact that it wasn't DM again, you know, I think it was pretty good overall. Really, I think I just more like a happy because just like, hey, it wasn't the best one ever. It was something new. Not Yugi versus Jean Claude Magnum. Never forget. Never forgive. I can forgive Siegfried. That was fine. It was Jean that made everyone just go, what the fuck? But hey, it wasn't a legacy duel. Like, uh, it would have been funny if it was Arc 5 if, uh, ass or against Jane, though. <laughs> but like, who cares? But just like, it wasn't like some legacy crossover duel of like, I don't know, Yusaku versus Jaden, but you know. It was still cool for what it was. Really, honestly, the only time I want to see DM characters back is when it's a crossover duel with other eras. That's like the only time where I'm like, okay, I can stomach this. <laughs> then again, I can watch Dan Green for days. So yeah. It was a cool duel. I'm glad I checked it out. It's just nice to have the VA duels back. Later. <laughs>